Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Tacos and Tunes vlog. It is official. I am running out of spaces in the loft to do these intros that look unique at all. So, welcome to the window. So I was sitting and I was thinking to myself, I was going through the Rolodex in my brain of all of the wonderful ideas that myself and the team and you guys have come up with for excellent episodes of the vlog. And I thought to myself, you know what? We've seen enough Dave for quite some time. So this week we've got a little bit of a treat in store for you. Actually, I take that back. We we have a huge treat for you, a king-sized treat, if you will. Our very own Amy Lightfoot, correspondent on the streets, resident booking guru, our artist liaison, our talent maven. Sat down with some of the artists at Tacos and Tunes just a few weeks ago and interviewed them, and we've got a very special artist spotlight for you this week. So yeah, that's enough of me. That's enough of me for at least another week. Amy, where are you at? What are you doing? Tell us something. My name is Amy and we're back here at Tacos and Tunes with Sam Wild and the Dangers with Isaac and Band. The one and only Von Rodri. take the first half of our questions to talk about Luke and his unfortunate accident. Just got out of the hospital about three hours ago and uh, we... Four tacos and tunes. Yeah, we were exactly. in Hawaii uh, and I ended up stepping on a sea urchin and uh, ended up getting sepsis and MRSA. I'm alive now uh, by the grace of God and yes. I'm here to play. I, I just want to set the stage for the story though about how it happened. So we showed up to our favorite beach. Still your favorite? Or? No. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Can't <laughs> Beautiful wait to show though. Luke's his first time in Hawaii. We can't <laughs> wait to show him. The, and there's this rock out in the water. They're swimming out there. I'm still on the shore. He's already swimming back to me and he's like, ah, dude, I stepped on a sea urchin. Oh, they release these spines in you, and I had like 20 different spines. Yeah. I'm like, let me see. And so he flips back and he sticks his foot off the water. And I successfully climbed onto the rock. Without. I, as soon as I get up, I say, watch out for sea urchins. And as soon as I say that, he's like, oh, I think I stepped on something. <laughs> but honestly, what a cool story to yeah. be like, one time in Hawaii, I, I stepped on a sea urchin. And, and then I played a about. show. Yeah. Almost died. Did you say Taco Bell? Oh my gosh, you're good to go. <laughs> You're dismissed. You <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm finally finding my sound in like an indie rock. I was doing a lot of singer-songwriter stuff. I guess that's where my heart still is in the sense like I like to write songs, but I also like to rock and roll. I like to think that rock and roll is not dead even though it's not as popular as it used to be, but yeah. I write songs about people I'm in relationship with, like an ultimate higher power and okay. how they both relate. I don't know, I yeah. typically write a lot of sad songs about girls. Yeah, and about sad sometimes. girls or sad songs about girls? Both. I'm a sad boy <laughs> writing sad girl songs. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I actually saw Vaughn for the first time at uh, the Profit Bar opening for um, another artist and I was like, this guy is awesome, I need to have him for a Tacos and Tunes and the magic of the Tacos and Tunes happened. Yeah. What is your genre? That is the hardest thing because I love uh, Bonnie Bear and I think that kind of music inspires my sound a lot more. Yeah. When did you start in music? I picked up my guitar when I was 16. Guitar, my friend, uh, he had it sit in the corner and he was like, I never play that, do you want it? I was like, yeah. Did you play that. before that? No. You just like, yeah, I just I just saw it and I just like, okay. took it with me back to my house. The easiest thing for me to write about is probably love and the things you've gone through with you know with relationships and whatnot. Um, that just kind of flows out naturally. Songwriters, I would say, gravitate towards the things that make you feel the strongest, and the things that make you feel the strongest are love and loss, like losing love, love that wasn't right. So love is obviously the thing you gravitate to because it burns the brightest. You know? Yeah. God's beauty. Yeah. Not sure. Mm -hmm. He has a song yeah. called Green Eyes about his wife's. Yeah. Beautiful green eyes. Yeah, we song about his. Very you know, beautiful green eyes. We definitely try to take like typical kind of writing styles and, and topics and try to like take a new take even on an existing topic. Right. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I would like for you to make up a song on the spot. Okay. To intro this video. I'll let you do it. <laughs> I've been a mess, I've been a fool, I've been a troubled mom. Top goes into If I don't have bed, then I have no good. Yo, Tacos 
singing in tunes. I see it real soon. You gotta hear all the tacos and the tunes because you're coming and we're gonna have fun and I like to rap uh, sometimes. Awesome. <laughs> uh, sometimes. <laughs> Are you usually late, early, or on time? Late. Early late. Late? <laughs> Unfortunately. When's the last time you lied? Probably when I thought about the answer to that question when I knew <laughs> that I was actually late. I wanted to sound like I wasn't late. It's really <laughs> I'm Isaac Tawa Effa, and we are here at Tacos and Tunes. Hi, I'm Vaughn, and I'm playing at Tacos and Tunes. Hey, we're Sam Wilde and the Dangers. We're playing Tacos and Tunes.